Hey guys, what's going on? So in the video today, I'm very excited because I'm gonna be unboxing these new Viberg 2040 service boots in brown oiled shinky horse butt. A lot of my friends have been getting these delivered and mine finally came today, delivered by DHL. So I am quite stoked to delve into these. So this is my first pair of Vibergs that I finally decided to go a full size down from Brannock on size 8D. All right. And uh, unboxing Vibergs is an experience like none other. They spare no expense or effort in the presentation. Thank you for your order. Then in here, the box is covered up with some wrapping paper. All right. So this, this wrapping paper is gonna keep it in place during the shipping process. Wow, such an amazing box that they send this stuff in. They really, they go out of their way to make a really nice box. Like, it almost feels like you're opening up like a MacBook or something like that. Lid slides off real nice. Wrapping paper. Here we have a little bit of literature on stitch down construction. So cool. We've got a little Viberg bag here. So we've got a set of rawhide laces here, as well as some flat wax cotton laces here as well. A shoe care guide. Little Viberg cloth here as well. Uh-huh, some Viberg shoe cream neutral, which is to the trained eye very obvious for for uh, aficionados to immediately notice this is actually Venetian. All right, and without further ado, very nice. The Vibergs are wrapped, wrapped in some flannel boot bags. And then let's have a look at what we got here, whoa. Yep, those are nice. Yeah, size eight, that's definitely my, that's definitely my move right there. That's definitely my right size. <laughs> a buddy of mine, he actually sent me some 2040 Vibergs in size eight just to try on and yeah, they fit me. I could tell they're my correct measurements. Beautiful. So what's really nice about Shinky Haikaku or Hikaku Tannery uh, horse hide, horse butt, is that it's got just brilliant honeycombing character along the grain of the leather. And it's just so pronounced, so beautiful, so in your face. And this is just a grail pair of boots right here. This is a really nice chocolate, dark brown chocolate color, which Believe it or not, I don't have much of uh, as as much as many boots that I do have. In I, I have various shades of brown, reds, oranges, even purple now, grays, blues, greens. But standard brown, I don't have a whole lot of. So this is this is a really welcome uh, addition to my boot collection here. Yeah, here's an example of my Renav Goods. These are my Renav Goods size eight and a half in brown oiled shinky horse butt. Now this is just standard brown, and this would be shinky's equivalent of their color four, I would say. It's got like a really nice red hue about it. Whereas the dark brown is much more of a standard chocolate brown. This I wouldn't really even call brown. This I would call reddish brown or, in fact, it's it's almost more of a tan. But yeah, more of a cognac maybe. Yeah, it's definitely got a lot of red in there. And uh, my buddy Dave, Boots of Manish Leather, otherwise known as the Vintage Future, he just did a whole video talking about Shinky. Shinky does something that's obviously different and better than a lot of tanneries out there. They're able to achieve such rich lusters and colors compared to other tanneries. Incredibly vibrant colors. These are my Mark Alberts in Whiskey Shell Cordovan from the Shinky Hikaku Tannery. And uh, one, one of Dave's commenters corrected the way that I say Hikaku. He said that it's Hikaku. And uh, 
so so I'm gonna try to pronounce it correctly moving forward because um, I'm, I'm kind of a stickler for pronunciation myself. <laughs> but yeah, so Shinki Hikaku Whiskey Shell Cordovan. And you can just see, this is this is such a vibrant yellow color that it has. And uh, much more vibrant than say a, a Whiskey Shell Cordovan from the Horween Tannery. It's gonna be a lot more muted, a lot more dull, a lot more earthy. Not a bad thing. And, and I'll talk about why that's not a bad thing here in a second, but but essentially, when the boots are brand new, the Shinky looks opulent, radiant, vibrant, incredibly rich depths, lusters. They have a glow about them, truly. Here's the reality check, though. As soon as you start wearing them, they're going to start to lose that initial luster. For example, this brown oiled horse butt, um, formed water spots immediately. Like even, I didn't wear these in the rain, I wore these outside when it was just kind of damp and I walked through the grass and the grass was just sort of had, had a little bit of mist on it. And when I got back into the house, I'm like, whoa, the appearance of the leather changed dramatically just in that instant, just from getting a little bit of water on it. It already altered the appearance of the leather. And uh, that's not a bad thing. And uh, also it's, it's started to form some dry spots throughout. Same with the whiskey shell. Uh, took on water spots immediately as it's broken in and as it was worn it started to dry out in just certain areas and, and lost that initial luster. Now I could condition that and, and sort of bring it back. But the point is, is yes, this is vibrant. Yes, this is radiant, but it's also very delicate. It will lose that look very quickly uh, with just a little bit of wear. So just be aware of that. Uh, that's not a bad thing. I enjoy that actually. I like when a boot really shows off its patina over time. For me, if a boot sort of uh, evolves rapidly, I enjoy that more. I like to look back and say, oh wow, that's what they look like new. And wow, look how far I've brought them. All right, so a little bit more about these. So these are gonna be on the Viberg 2040 last Ridgeway sole. We've got perforated cap toe, a back heel block, which is a single piece, which in incorporates the back heel counter as well as the back heel strip. We've got eight antique brass eyelets, double stitch down welt. All right, so even though they don't have these dark brown oiled shinky horse butt boots on the Viber website anymore, or currently, there are a few makeups on that site that are very tempting that I would highly, highly recommend right now. And this is just given all my experience collecting boots, the stuff that I gravitate most for on the site. First is gonna be the 310 service boot in sap waxed kudu. This is an insanely dark brown. I think that a uh, sap waxed kudu is a good name for it. It almost looks like tree bark. It's so dark. And the 310 service boot is just an incredible last. It's the, as my friend Dave likes to say, the apex predator of boot lasts. It's got a really sprung toe. It's got what I consider like sort of that, the shape of like the wooden Dutch shoe, a traditional like wooden Dutch shoe shape to it. So yeah, for the Viber 310, I would definitely recommend going a full size down uh, as I did on the 2040 here. So the leather is gonna be Charles F. Stead waxed kudu. It's got antique brass eyelets, antique midsole, stitch down construction, built on 100% leather Viberg chassis, Day-night brown sole, handmade in Victoria, Canada. Stead's kudu has a unique grain pattern with no two skins being the same. Because these animals have had to adapt to the harsh terrain of the African savanna, kudu provides a unique combination of softness and strength, and Stead's wax plate finish accentuates the natural character of this leather. The 310 last was created in 2007 by combining a vintage British climbing boot with a mid-century work boot. The sprung toe that defines the shape of the 310 was developed in the early 1900s to create a rocking motion that, that made stiff-soled industrial boots more comfortable to walk in. Amazing. The 310 last features a generous e-width with ample room in the toe box. We recommend going one size smaller than your Brannock size. The 310 fits similar in length to our 2030 last, yes. And second runner up to that one, in fact, this might be the front runner, is going to be the 310 service boot in camel hair waxed kudu. 
Now this is gonna be in the same leather, it's just gonna be a different color, a lot lighter of a color. Because the color is a lot lighter, it's gonna show off the amazing striations and characters and blemishes and scars and scratch marks and everything else that you would come to expect from a wild animal. This boot is gonna be made in Charles F. Stead waxed kudu. Antique brass eyelets, antique midsole, stitched down construction, built 100% on leather Viberg chassis, Daynight brown sole, made in Victoria, Canada. And last but certainly not least is another pair of 310s that are on their website now. These are an olive chrome pack. Now olive chrome pack to my knowledge is similar to Chrome XL, except it's like Chrome XL on steroids. Horween's Chrome Pack is a chrome-based tannage that uses extremely heavyweight leather that is aniline dyed and then hot stuffed with oil and grease to create an incredibly durable leather with an extreme pull-up that reveals a unique patina with age. So this particular makeup is in Horween Chrome Pack, eight gunmetal eyelets, natural midsole, stitched down construction, 100% uh, leather Viberg chassis, Daynight Brown Soul Fully Structured Toe, made by hand in Victoria, Canada. And yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna leave links to those three makeups in the description below. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. What do you think about this amazing new pair of Vibergs? I am stoked. This is my first 2040, and my first time that, I'm, that I've am that i nailed my size. Uh, so this will be my fourth pair of Vibergs, and uh, I actually sold two of them off just because they just weren't the right fit for my foot. Now, I, I walked around in some of them comfortably for many years and never noticed a problem and never noticed like an issue with fit. All I have remaining right now are my original Viberg 2030s in brown Chrome XL in size eight and a half and my 2040s in size eight. So there you go. So yeah, just looking at these, wow. Yeah, these are, these are definitely big. I definitely need to go down another half size. <laughs> Again, I'm a Brannock 9, and the Viberg 8 is, is where I'm at fit-wise. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you all in my next video.